Hello guys and welcome to your first Minecraft modding advanced tutorial. Uh, I'm in Eclipse right now. Uh, we're just going to get started. If you don't know how to get in Eclipse, then you're not ready for the advanced, advanced tutorials. So uh, let's go on and create a new class and name it mod underscore. I'm just going to do advanced. You should know what that means by now. And of course, mod underscore extends base mod because that's uh, because we're working with mod loader and quickly let's import java.util.random because we're going to be using that later to generate the, what we're doing but I should probably tell you what we're doing for our first tutorial I think we're going to generate a flower a new flower because not a lot of people know how to do that so just quickly let's get started remember I'm writing this from memory so please 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 bear with me okay so down onto the next line let's do public mod underscore advanced oops small that wrong and open and close squiggly brackets then under the squiggly brackets do public string oops version um, parentheses open and close squiggly brackets return uh, let me see my mod I, I don't know minecraft 1.7.3 because that's the current version of Minecraft. Uh, let me see. Next, we're going to have to declare what we're doing for our flower. So let's do public static final block flower. Uh, and then whatever you want your name. I'm just going to do T flower for tutorial purposes, meaning uh, T flower as in tutorial flower, I guess. I don't know. I'm not very, that, I'm not that creative. So, um, equals and then parentheses block flower and then outside your parentheses start new parentheses and do new block flower and then do parentheses again and this time this is where I, I our ID goes so I'm just gonna do 120 and then comma space 0 and I'm not quite sure what the 0 means you're gonna have to forgive me for that uh, so let me see what's next. Oh, dot set hardness, of course, because we gotta be able to break this block, and we'll make it 0.0f because normal flowers break instantly. So this flower should be able to. And then let's do dot set uh, step sound, and we'll do block dot sound. Oops, sound grass footstep because when you walk on a flower it sounds like grass don't get uh, I didn't create it uh, so let me see dot set block name will be um, T flower I don't know what I'm thinking and let's not forget the let's make it glow actually dot set light value 1.0 F meaning it'll glow as good as uh, what's it called glowstone and don't forget your semicolon at the end and let's see what's wrong with here uh... oh i accidentally capitalized sound it happens okay so now let's start the generation the generation is the long part and the more difficult part which is why i'm saying that uh... we need to really i don't know more this is more of an advanced section so go on and under your squiggly bracket your second one let's go on and add it now what you're gonna type in is public <sighs> sorry I'm just getting ready void generate surface and then parentheses world uh, comma var1 meaning or just var1 uh, random var2 uh, int var3 and int var4 and then you're gonna add or don't add a semicolon but instead hit enter and I think I'm not supposed to put a comma right there I don't know why I did anyways so once you hit enter go ahead and open a squiggly bracket and let's do this thing so type in int var5 uh, int var6 Am I doing this right? I think I am. So int var 6, int var 7, and int var 8. 
Uh, so now we've declared those things. So now type in four uh, var five. Um, f am I doing? Yeah, sorry. Um, four again. I'm doing this from memory. So four parentheses var five equals zero semicolon uh, var five greater than two semicolon. Uh, then of I think it's plus plus four five I think so yes I think that's right okay don't add a semicolon instead hit enter and add more squiggly brackets and I accidentally spaced var five sorry forgive me for that okay now you should have no errors whatsoever and do type in inside the squiggly brackets var six equals var three plus var2 dot next int uh, then in parentheses type in 16 and then after the parentheses type in plus 8 and then a semicolon okay now we're gonna do var7 equals sorry spaced out var7 var7 equals var2 dot next int and inside parentheses put in 128 and that's where it's going to generate so it's going to generate on world on like sections of the map that are at the ID 128 or the y-axis 128 okay so add a semicolon after that and now we'll do var 8 so var 8 equals var 4 plus var 2 um, dot next int uh, and then inside that you put another 16 plus 8 so now we've pretty much already done with most of our code for today but under var 8 put world or my bad parentheses new world gen meaning generate flowers and then parentheses mod wait am I do sorry I don't think it's flowers I think it's flower Oh, let me just put flowers because it should be an error right now and now do mod underscore uh, let me see what what advanced I don't think you have to put that actually just put T flower no nope, never mind never mind I don't know what I'm doing mod underscore advanced uh, dot T flower oops dot block ID and then after block ID, go outside of your parentheses and put dot generate no capitals uh, parentheses and inside the parentheses put var one, var two, var six, var seven, and var eight. And then add a semicolon and hit enter. And then see world gen. I think this should be changed. Uh, what is wrong with you? Okay, that fixed it. I don't know what I did wrong, but anyways, it fixed it. So go ahead and do that, and now we should probably test our mod. What do you think? You think we should? I think we should. Anyways, so let's test it. Go on and hit the run button, and it should load. Java application. Okay. Uh, net.minecraft.src. Okay. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. We forgot stuff. What a failure. I I apologize. We forgot the most important stuffs. Stuffs of all kind. Okay, now we're going to make our to-do list. I can't believe I forgot our to-do list. I guess we just got out the hard stuff in the beginning. So type in inside mod advanced or public mod advanced inside, inside the squiggly brackets put register blocks parentheses semicolon Add names, parentheses, semicolon, and set textures, parentheses, semicolon, and hold on for just one moment. Okay, and we're back. So let's go on and we've done that. So let's make public voids. So public void register blocks, parentheses, and this time you're going to add a squiggly bracket. And then do that for add names and set textures. So public void set textures 
parentheses, sim or not semicolons, but squiggly brackets, and then public void add names. Okay, so add those squiggly brackets, and for add names, we're going to do mod loader dot add name. Um, let me see, t flower. Is that right? Yep, t flower, comma space quotation marks, uh, new flower. I don't know, it's just new flower, so that's what we'll do. And now for set textures, do t flower dot block in index in texture uh, parentheses oh wait sorry texture dot mod lo oh, equals mod loader dot add override and parentheses semicolon forward slash gui nope forward slash terrain dot png because it's a block comma for um sorry what am I doing quotation marks forward slash we'll just do advanced forward slash to, um, new flower dot png and hit it, do a semicolon and for register blocks we'll do <sighs> mod loader dot register blocks um, parentheses inside the parentheses do t flower semicolon okay and what is wrong with you uh, oh sorry that's my fault um anyways so now that we've basically added all of it, we're gonna need new we're gonna need new image file named newflower.png. It'll be in the description, but the source code will not be in the description. I think if you're gonna be in the more advanced, you should be able to um, read it and actually work from it. So I'm gonna just save all and make the image file real quick. So give me one moment and I will be back. All right, guys. So we're back and you can see that I've made my own advanced folder, which is gonna go in Minecraft.jar. And inside, we have a little purple flower with a brown stem. That's going to be our new flower. And again, it's going to be in the description. So go on and open up MCP. And I have this tutorial folder open because my other modding series. Uh, so this is an MCP. What am I doing? MCP. You're going to have to recompile it and re it. So once re recompiling and re obfuscating is done, I'll be back. Uh, but for right now, I've really got a P. So <laughs> maybe that's why I was all jittery this uh, the tutorial, but uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So welcome back. I have opened. Um, uh, what am I saying? I've opened up my Minecraft.jar. You should know how to do that. If you don't, then obviously you're not ready to mod yet. And I've got the two class files right here. Actually, one class file as well as a folder. So I'm gonna just go ahead and drag those in there. Start up Minecraft. Hopefully, we have no problems. Whew. Man, I just I went out for a run. Um. So, anyways. Okay, so Minecraft has started up successfully. I'm going to go ahead and find a new flower that we've created and start the video back up there. I know I've been pausing a lot, but hey, you know, I'm not going to make this video an hour long looking for a certain flower and never end up finding it. So, good luck. See ya. Or actually, I'll see you in a moment. Actually, one second for you, about 30 minutes. I don't know how long it takes to find it. But maybe, I don't know. See ya. Actually, that was pretty quick. Look, we've got our own little flower and chickens right here. <laughs> I actually just paused it and noticed. So here's our flower. Obviously, it's not touching the floor, but that's just a texture problem. Break that, and we get this little gray block, which we'll fix in later tutorials, but all I wanted to do was get the flower to generate, which is what um, which is what the tutorial is. So we've got our own little flower, and it's beautiful. So... Thank you for watching, and subscribe for future updates, and I don't know, that's about it. <laughs> Good luck. See you later. Good luck in your modding future.